Good afternoon. It's Valerie Holdren. It's um, been a long time. My grandchildren informed me yesterday that it had been seven months since I had made a video, and I hadn't really thought about it, so I went back and looked, and they're right. Um, I don't even know why they watch my videos. They don't, they're not into soap making, but they said there's just something kind of neat about watching their Nana do a soap video, a YouTube video. So um, anyway, this is for them. <laughs> um, but really, and, and then they went on to say, how do you ever expect to get any subscribers if you, if they don't get alerted when you post a video? And I'm like, well, I never really went into it with that goal, but it seemed important to them. So here we go. Um, I am not making as much soap as I used to. I have closed my website. It was just a lot more work than I have time to dedicate to it. And it was getting to the point that it was staying down more than it was staying up. So I'm going to be doing everything from Facebook. Um, I may even offer some Facebook Lives um, when I want to, once I figure out how to do that. Um, you know, when I want to have an online sale or something, um, I will just alert people. You know, I'll let them know what I have available. They can see it, um, that kind of thing. So I'm still working through it. Um, I'm, I'm trying to cut down on the amount of extra soap bars that I have left in my inventory once people buy what they want. Um, I hate having two or three straggly bars, um, you know, that, that don't move, um, but that's just the way it is. So anyway, today, um, getting ready for the fall Christmas season, um, I haven't really done, I, I've done a couple that I, I didn't video. One is, was a forestry scent. The other one was um, more of a candy scent. Um, this one is going to be my spiced orange. I love that one, and it seems to move really well. Um, I'm going to try my new favorite design again, and that's to take um, these color bottles and put little bits of color and go all over the top, um, and then take the end of a spoon and do, and it looks like candy ribbons. And Joe Creer, I think is, I'm saying her name correctly, um, she does the most beautiful designs, um, and I learned that from her on YouTube. I've not been able to duplicate the beauty in hers, but I sure love trying. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be using uh, my fragrance today is um, orange tenfold or 10x, um, a little clove and a little anise, A-N-I-S-E. And this has a really sweet yet deep spicy scent. Um, you get the citrus of the orange, the, the depth of the um, clove and the sweetness of the anise, A-N-I-S-E, anise, anise, I'm not sure. Um, and then my color is a natto powder. So this is an all-natural soap, um, as all-natural as it can be. Um, what else am I? I'm going, my oils, I'm using a pretty high content of um, shea butter today. I'm using 25%. I'm using cocoa butter, um, coconut oil, olive oil, and castor oil. Um, my additives are, um, I went ahead and put, as you can see, they've settled to the bottom, my white kale and clay, um, colloidal oatmeal, and I have two ounces of coconut milk already in here, not the powder, but the coconut milk that I'm going to blend all together before I add it to my heated hard oils. And they are in this little container here. And um, I'm going to be doing the heat transfer method, uh, which is once I pour my lye into my water, 
um, I'm going to just mix it enough to dissolve it well and melt my hard oils with this hot lye. So um, that's pretty much the extent of it. This is, you know, a pretty simple video. Um, there's not going to be any swirl in the soap. It's not going to turn out to be a white, white soap like I would like, but because I don't want to use any titanium dioxide, um, the essential oils tend to discolor it slightly. Um, so it won't be a white, white, but hopefully it will be light enough that you'll be able to see the swirl on top. Um, what else can I tell you? I do have a lot of new subscribers, um, about a hundred since um, I last did a video, since I last checked, and I appreciate that. I will ask one thing um, of those who may be a subscriber, but not a serious subscriber. Um, I had a couple of comments, and, and I take things with a grain of salt usually, um, but this one seemed to be a little bit on the snarky side. And, you know, we get enough of that in this world anyway. Um, but I have short hair. I have sported short hair since I was a senior in high school. Um, long hair doesn't suit me, unfortunately. Um, some people aren't suited for long hair. Some aren't suited for short hair. Whatever your opinion may be, that's fine. That's yours. But it doesn't need to be shared um, about someone's physical appearance um, on their YouTube channel. So if you don't like the fact that I have short hair, then please find someone else to watch. Um, there's plenty of people out there. Um, and that comment was made during a shampoo bar. They said something like, it's just a shame that you can't make a, um, a shampoo bar that would promote growth for your hair. Well, you know, that's fine. Um, but just please, if you have a, a snarky comment, save it, okay? Because there's enough nastiness in the world. So I'm going to get set up and we'll come back and make this soap. Okay, I'm back to mix my lye uh, with my distilled water. And I have in here to dissolve some mulberry silk, which is wonderful for soap, um, for your skin. It, it makes such a silkiness. So I'm going to add my lye just slowly. Uh, remember to always wear your gloves, long sleeves, and your glasses, safety goggles. Um, and don't inhale. Use in a, you know, a, a well-ventilated area. I could take it outside or I could take it over and turn on the fan, but I'm standing far enough back that I'm not getting any of the fumes. I will say that when you use really like ice water or um, frozen milks or juices, teas, the fumes don't seem to be as bad as just with plain water, but I have my um, coconut milk already over, I deducted it from this amount, from my total water amount, and put two ounces in with my liquid oils. So, I love the creaminess that coconut milk adds to soap. And I'm just, like I said earlier, I'm just going to dissolve this enough um, and it'll, so that I can pour it over in here in my, to melt my hard oils. And it's already dissolved. I'm tilting it because I'm trying to get what little bit of life particles I have on my spoon. And all of the tuss of silk is dissolved. So now I'm just going to pour it into, and I have these oils chopped up really well, except for my um, coconut oil, I mean my cocoa butter. 
and it's just thin little pellets and they melt really easily. So here we go. And these um, stainless steel little pitchers, they really help to um, hold the heat in into your lye. I'm gonna take my big spatula and just start moving things around so that they all get incorporated into the hot lye mixture. And it's not gonna take long to, I probably won't leave you hanging on here the entire time. It's just me stirring around these hard oils to get them melted. And there are other methods you could do. Some, you know, this is really a cold process soap, just done a little differently than even when I learned it the first time, you know, where you melt all of your oils and you get them to a certain temperature, then you mix your lye and then you set them aside and let them cool down to about anywhere from 90 to 110. And then you start soaping. This way, um, it's just, there is no waiting. Um, and that's good for an impatient person like myself. Um, there's no waiting for anything to cool down because once I add mix up my liquid oils and my milk and additives and pour it into the melted hard oils, it's gonna cool it down anyway. Probably not to 90 degrees. It's usually around 105 to 110 once I mix them. But I did not bring get rid of the what few lumps I have left, but I don't need to do that. So I'm just gonna sit it to the side because it's, like I said, almost completely dissolved. And now I'm going to bring over my liquid oils. This is my olive oil and castor oil, my two ounces of coconut milk, two tablespoons of colloidal oatmeal, and two tablespoons of kaolin clay, white kaolin clay. And mixing them up in here before adding them to your hard oils, um, it keeps you from having to stick blend and risk it getting too thick. See how creamy that looks? over here. And just combine it. And I'll scrape my sides really well to get all of the oils and additives. Don't want to leave any behind. I think I say it every video, but I can't stress enough how I love these spatulas and spoonulas from Steph's Micas. They are so good at scraping the sides and getting all of the excess off of, out of your pictures. There's not as much waste of the oils that want to cling to the sides. See? 
almost clean. Stick blender back over. Give it a good burp to get air bubbles out. I'll just start slow. Now all I'm doing, I'm, I'm sh should be working at the bottom, but because I want to get those few little chunks of unmelted hard oils out and just doing it like this. chunks in there and I'm just afraid that it'll get too thick on me because I do um, a water discount so it would have a tendency to get pretty thick and I'm just going to bring it to an emulsion um, because I want to um, separate some off so now I'm going to add my essential oil blend. Gonna be that yellow, but I, I don't think it will be. I think it'll cure out um, a little bit lighter. Okay. All right. Let me pause you, and I'm gonna get my mold ready, and we'll proceed. Okay. It's getting a little thick on me, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour the biggest part into my mold. And the spoon helps to uh, prevent air bubbles. soap than I thought I would. Okay. All right. Now, if I had more time, but I'm afraid this isn't going to work if I keep messing around, I would put a plastic bag down in here but I don't. So I have used turmeric to make a deeper orange color for the swirl on the top. Hope it works. If not, oh well. <laughs> I tried. And then a lighter color. I might still want a little lighter still. Okay, so I'm going to take 
this color and I'm just gonna go all over the top. That's what Joe does. Okay, and then this is my darker color. Gotta let the soap sit up for a few minutes so that I can try and um, get it to set up um, for the swirl to work. So I'll come back when it's ready. All right, it looks like it's set up enough. So we're gonna try this. Um, and you just take the spoon, the end of the spoon, she says, and you just And hers always looks so much prettier. It just gives a different kind of look. But hers are just so gorgeous. But that's okay. We'll see what happens when it, um, when it dries, cures. So that is, and I will bring you back. Um, I won't be able to unmold it or anything until probably tomorrow, maybe late tonight. It just depends. So again, thank you for watching. And, um, if I don't see you before the holidays, enjoy your time with your family. Thanks for watching.